high dose or low dose? That's the question we're about to answer. Welcome back to our show coming to you from London. Though I'm standing on a bridge, it's not the London Bridge, but it is the bridge that heads over to the British Parliament. Below us is the Thames River and there's so much to discover on our adventure together. But first and foremost, it's time for Health Beat. And today we're focusing on imaging technology. One of the leading companies in the world is Simmons and a doctor is here to tell us about their technology. How is your imaging compared with your competition? Well, um, it's, it's a competitive business. I think, you know, we all have great computers. Um, you know, we've really focused a lot on reducing radiation dose and just uh, increasing the diagnostic accuracy of these machines. So we can now see s cell structures the size of a grain of sand. Uh, for example, in our latest scanners for infants, they're so fast. They're a fraction of a second, not even an entire second. So we can scan a, you know, wiggling infant without sedation. Well, doctor, that's certainly great. Now I know that Simmons has recently conducted a survey on imaging. What came of those results? Sure, we, we were trying to understand what people know about modern imaging, in particular what they know about the risks and the benefits. What we found was People are familiar with some types of imaging, so CT scans, MRI. The MRI scans probably from the sports injuries uh, on the football field, I'm, I'm guessing. But we're not as familiar with things, you know, for example, nuclear scans like PET scans. The, the second thing we found is that folks were unclear about which scans use radiation to make the image and which scans don't. So, for example, a CT scan does use radiation, an MRI does not. Um, and folks didn't understand that necessarily. It's entirely clear, you know, it's, it's not surprising because the machines look identical, right? It's a big box with a hole and you're slid in. And so even if you're inside of it, there'd be no way to know. So you have to ask your doctor. Well, certainly very interesting information. Now there's machines that have radiation and don't. When would you use either one? All right. Yeah, so these scans are, they have very specific uses. So for example, CT scans, extremely fast. So if you're in the emergency department, head trauma, chest pain, abdominal pain, that would be a CT scan. They can be done literally instantaneously. MRI takes a bit longer and really is very good for things like neurologic structures. So brain and spinal cord or orthopedic joints. A PET scan, tags potential cancer cells with a nuclear marker and so that would be used for the, to find the early spread of cancer to direct surgery or chemotherapy so very they sort of look the same but they're used for very different things well doctor i'm certainly learning a lot of information now would we want one of these scans only when we're feeling something is wrong or should we just do it just to see if something's there right so currently, um, there's not evidence to support what's called whole body scanning. Just do it on, you know, do it on spec. Um, I think you have to sort of go with risk factors. So, you know, are you over 50 or, you know, depending maybe even over 45 at risk for colon cancer and colon cancer screening? Or do you have cardiac risk factors, hypertension, high cholesterol, diabetes? Um, and then, you know, it might make sense to get a cardiac exam or if you have some suspicious symptoms. So it, it, it really, you know, the answer is the very long, it depends. Now, doctor, you mentioned risk factors. So can we use this imaging technology as a preventative screening to catch things early? So the screening on some of these things with these modern imaging is early. So for example, obviously we're doing mammograms now as screening. There's been a big research trial showing for certain types of cigarette smoker, lung cancer can reduce uh, death by 20%. Um, widespread screening with these scans is really, I think it's still early on that. There's some good scientific evidence showing um, CT scans are very helpful in screening for colon cancer. That's probably the, the most advanced one. I think we're still sorting out the, the true screening on cardiac CT scans. Again, if you have a bunch of risk factors Technically, it's sort of not called screening exactly because then you already have the early disease. Um, you know, that, that's one of those questions, you know, your doctor has to help you sort through where you are. 
um, on that and whether it makes sense. All right, doctor, I've got to ask you this question. You've read many of imaging scans and you have testified in front of Congress. Which is harder? Uh, well, they're, 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 uh, they're, they're very different things. <laughs> I, I think uh, the nervous energy of testifying in Congress is probably higher because, you know, it's a rare thing for most people's lives. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the daily practice of medicine is, is obviously something if you've started hitting my age, you've probably been doing for a while. <laughs> well, doctor, it's my understanding you're great at both. Keep up the great work, and where can we go to find out more information on what you shared with us today? Siemens has just set up a website called medicalradiation.com. So we can give you, you know, you can go there, you can see the scans, you can, you know, store up your questions for, uh, you know, when you see your doctor and, uh, you know, ask the right ones, hopefully. Thanks for joining us, in particular, sharing so much knowledge with us. Tom, thank you very much. If you want to learn more from other Health Beat segments we've done here on Get Connected, please log on to our Get Connected website at contv.com. When we return, we're going inside the British Parliament. A lot of action going on inside, but it's not the politicians we're concerned about, it's the history, and we'll uncover that together when we return to London. Thank you so much for watching. Are you tired of negative news? We are. And that's why we're creating a movement. By keeping it real. With what you need to know. It's more than what's happening. It's bringing hope back to our lives. So go to contv.com and join our movement.